Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create an executable on both Mac and Windows operating systems, where we just double click a file and it will run a script in the background, where we can interact with this executable, passing things in, and this can work for a variety of applications, but the one I'm gonna be showing you today will be used to get our initial set of tokens for the Trader API. So first and foremost, you need to set your working directory. This is the path where your tokens will be saved. So just make sure you change line one to the path that you choose. We're gonna require these five packages. We also need to assign our app key and our secret. So just enter them in here. We also need to set our redirect URL. And this script is coming from part two of the Trader API series on authentication. So if you already have those functions, just copy them here in line 17, 27, and 33. This first function will create a URL based off of your app key and redirect URL, which it will print out in the console. You will need to grab this URL, place it in Google Chrome, follow the steps. Once you have authenticated online, you're gonna grab the URL and place it in the console, and then it's gonna generate your tokens for you. So as you see, it's gonna read in whatever we input, and then we're gonna use the function in line 27 to extract the code from the response URL. Now in step three, as I showed you in the authentication script, we're gonna pass in our app key, our secret, our code from the response URL, and our redirect URL. And it's gonna take those values to create a post request. And if the page status code is 200, we're gonna save our initial tokens as cstokens.rds. So it'll get saved as a binary file in the path you set in line one. Otherwise it's gonna return null and this error message that there was an error somewhere. So we're gonna use that function and pass in all of our values and it's gonna print out the path to our working directory so you can locate this RDS file. And it's also gonna print out the response we got from using this function. So that's all you need to set up as far as this script. Now, if you're using a Mac operating system, you're gonna to wanna to open up your text editor and you're gonna write these commands along with the path to this R script. And when you save it, you wanna make sure this ends in dot .command. And that's all that's required for this file. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. And I placed this in documents. It doesn't really matter where you save it as long as you reference the path to the script appropriately. So let's go ahead and run this command to generate our tokens. And all we have to do is just double click. It's gonna run this in the terminal. You're gonna to wanna to copy this URL and place it in Google Chrome. Now from here, just log in and follow the steps. Now at the very end, you should see something like this. And we're gonna copy this URL and we're gonna go back to terminal. We're gonna enter the response URL in here, hit enter. And now as you see, it has successfully created our tokens, which are valid for seven days. And that's pretty much all that's required. You should now see the RDS file in the path you listed in line one. So I'll go ahead and close this out. And now we're gonna do the same thing, but for Windows operating systems. So the script will not change. The only thing that'll change is the executable. So I'll show you what that looks like on Windows. All right guys, so on Windows, I copied the same script. I just changed my path. And you're gonna to wanna to open up text editor and type in some commands. So here I'm just gonna highlight it. I'm gonna click on edit. And you're gonna to wanna to copy these six lines. Please make sure that you input the right version of R. If you go to program files in R, you'll see the version number. You're gonna list your working directory and you're gonna reference the R script that you wanna use. Now, once you save this file, you're gonna to wanna to save as a .bat, so .bat, and that will create an executable. So let's go ahead and double click this file. It's gonna open up your console. So we're gonna copy this URL. We're gonna to go to Google Chrome, paste that in there. Make sure you log in and just follow the steps. At the very end, you should see something like this, and you're just gonna to wanna to copy that URL and place it in the console. And hopefully you should see this response with the refresh token expiration. If you get something similar for output, you can just go to this path and we should see the RDS file in there, which is this one. Now you can make executables for a variety of applications if you don't wanna go into R and manually run the code there. Well, with that guys, this concludes the video. I hope this was useful information. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.